right, man. Um, so I, I definitely got some very cool people in the studio and virtually. Here's Bob the Builder. What going on, Bob? Oh, Bob. Not much. How was your weekend? Hey, it was uh, it was okay. I mean, you know, I how was the boat ride? Um, boat ride was lit, like lit, lit. It was, <laughs> it was it was it was good. I'm sorry I missed you. I heard you on the boardwalk. Yeah, I, I show up there every once in a while. Oh, okay. All right. Once in a while, huh? <laughs> well, once a day, okay. <laughs> once a day. <laughs> All right, Bob, what, what we got for Medical Monday over there at Neighborhood Pharmacy? Well, today I'm going to talk about the thyroid. Okay. Um, it's a gland in our body. It's January is Thyroid Disease Awareness Month, so mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to kind of uh, talk about the thyroid a little bit and what okay. it does and uh, what happens if you have higher low levels. So. All right. The thyroid's an organ. It sits in your neck, uh, kind of below your Adam's apple and above your collarbone. Uh -huh. Looks like a butterfly, actually. It's got like wings and then a center part to hold it together. Okay. The thyroid's responsible for um, for our metabolism, so it helps us. You build or uh, burn energy, creates energy for our body. So it takes our foods and it breaks it down into the energy that it needs to function. Okay. And there are really two two kinds of thyroid diseases. Generally speaking, there's sub subsets of it too. But you either have high levels or low levels. You know, if you're normal, then you're normal. But um, so with the hypothyroidism, which is the low, some of the side effects that you might experience: you're always feeling tired, weight gain, uh, some forgetfulness. If you're female, you have uh, frequent or heavy menstrual periods. Uh -huh. uh, can have dry or coarse hair and a hoarse voice. So I'm sounding like I have a hoarse voice this morning. So. Right. <laughs> Doesn't it also That's cause difficult. people's weights to fluctuate? Yes, absolutely. They used to use some of the thyroid medications to, uh, for weight loss, but they pretty much moved away from that. Um, they used uh, the one of the synthetic um, thyroids, notice. But if you're hyperthyroid, if you have too much thyroid, your body's producing too much, it's really just the opposite effect. So think of your hyper. So you're um, experiencing anxiety, irritability, nervousness, can't sleep, you lose weight. Um, you can have the enlarged thyroid then. Uh -huh. Probably heard of the goiter. Uh -huh. I always think of the Seinfeld episode when they see the, the big goiter. Right. <laughs> and then muscle weakness and tremor. So it's really just a result of your body's burning too much energy. Okay. Um, and it needs to function. Yeah. There are a couple, there are some um, prescription drugs that are used to help treat both sides of it. Uh, for the, there's a natural one, it's called Armor Thyroid. It's a, uh, it's actually made from uh, dried pig thyroid glands. So it's it's a natural product. Uh oh. Um, but then this vegans one, wouldn't want that though. brand name Synthroid. What's that? I said vegans wouldn't want that though. And no, no, definitely not. Right. Plus, it smells nasty. So. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, synthetic ones are actually uh, better used by our bodies than the natural one. The natural one, it can um, cause more side effects and takes a little longer to kick in before your body reacts to it. Um, and then over the counter as well, there's uh, some vitamins, of course, that you can always take that help. The thyroid's dependent on iodine. So um, it, it needs iodine in, in your system to, in order for it to break down. Um, that's why we have iodized salt. You probably see, right. yeah, on regular salt. So that's how they started putting iodine into our into our um, foods. There's also iodine products that we sell. It's called Tri Iodine. It's it's just iodine. So if, if you have low levels, you can use that. That'll help with your uh, support your thyroid. Mm -hmm. And then selenium and zinc as well. Um, selenium helps. Uh, protect the thyroid from damage caused by some of the oxidative stress that we might have in our body. Right. And then the zinc is another one that's, um, it helps with with our healthy levels of our, our thyroids. They call them T3, T4. So it's it's just uh, what they classified them as. It's actually three, three elements of iodine and four elements. So four is broken down to three to be functions. So. Okay, that, that was complex, even though the numbers were low. <laughs> So, and, and you can also do a kind of a self check on your, your thyroid. Uh, How? So kind of a at home test. Uh, of course, if you sense something that's, you wanna make sure you contact your doctor right away, but to do that, you just identify where it is. So you go down, um, man, it, don't, we don't wanna confuse it with our Ad, Adam's apple, but right. you wanna go below that. Okay. And then um, kind of tilt your head back 
and then you take a drink of water and when you swallow um you can do it without the water too but just act like you swallow and if you feel like any raised any raised uh bumps or uh irritation um that will that's a, a sign that there may be potentially something wrong with your thyroid okay well so far so good i'm good today good all right all right all right so bob okay Wait. um i don't this might be great teamwork on your behalf um but don't believe that I forgot that today was the day that Megan the Little Mirror was supposed to walk up and she's not here. And I'm not going right. to ask you to do that on her behalf. However, what happened? What happened, man? Well, she ran the 31 mile race yesterday. Oh, wow. So okay. I think she's probably just tired. Oh, oh okay. Uh, that was good timing. So she, she had a legitimate reason. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, so, so next week after she recovers, from running 31 miles. Was somebody chasing her or she voluntarily ran 31 I miles? I think she voluntarily did it. I, I, I couldn't drive that far without being yeah, tired. Man. You know? I mean, that's like the size of St. Thomas. That, that don't yeah. make no sense. All right, well, hey, definitely, man. I appreciate you, uh, Bob the Builder. Have a great one. Thank you so much. Uh, you as well. And what's the phone number over there? What's the address? 340-718-6784 uh, is our number, and we're at 140B is St. St. George in Frederickstead, just at West Airport Road and Queen Mary Highway. All right, that's what's up. I appreciate you. All right. Take care. Have All a good right. week. There ain't no doubt about it, man. Neighborhood Pharmacy bringing you the energy. Girl, you know the youngers.